When I created my introductory video on using C9 RGB lights on my house this Christmas, one of the common questions I get is, how did I create those patterns with WLED? And so that's what I'm gonna show you today is how I actually created those. And uh, you can create any pattern you want once you know the trick. All right, so this is the first house, the one that is just solid white. Now this is, of course, the easiest case because you just pick the color that you want. You put it in color number one, and then you select solid. And all it does is a completely solid stream of just that color. So whether you want the soft white or cool white, it doesn't make a difference. Now the other one is this one here, which is green around the outline of the roof. You do the same exact thing. You just make it green and you can put it to any color green that you like. If you want whatever you, uh, whatever your little heart desires, you can change it to any tone you want. All right, now the next one here is a tricolor. This one is red, green, and white. So let's see how we do that. There's already an effect here called solid pattern tri. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set red. We've got green here. And this one we're gonna make warm white. And then we're gonna use solid pattern tri and all three of them. It's the same pattern over and over and over again. And if you want, you can actually tweak this using this effect. The top one here is for speed. The bottom one is to tweak the effect. So what you can do is if you raise this up a little bit, you'll see now we've got two bulbs in each color. So that's a nice thing too. If you, if you want, you can make it wider, you can make it whatever you want. And here you have three bulbs in each color. So that's easy as long as you want up to three colors, or I shouldn't say up to, if you want exactly three colors, you can use the solid pattern try. Okay, now let's take this case here where it's just simply red and green alternating. So how would we do that? Well, if you wanna do this, the only thing, the only way I've found to do it is to use segments. And you have to really master segments with WLED in order to get custom colors the way that you want them. So the simplest case here is just with two segments, one for each color. So I'm gonna create this one segment and I'm just gonna call this the red one. And right now it is solid. The whole string is solid red. Now there are two settings here that you need to pay attention to. One is grouping and one is spacing. Let's just start with spacing. It has a spacing of zero. That means that it wants, you want these bulbs to be red, one right after the other. If I just change this spacing to one and click apply, you can see how the spacing has changed. Every other bulb is now out. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a segment for green and give me a second. It, it just, it does flake out until I, I get it in there the way that it needs to be. We're gonna make that green. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to say, I want the start LED to be one and the spacing again, be one. Okay, I'm gonna turn that one off and I'm gonna make this one green. All right, now you can see every other bulb is red and every other bulb is green because purely of the start LED. Okay, so these are two segments that actually overlap. So that's, that's the key. And as long as you could do that, you could do anything. So let's just say we wanted two red and then a green every now and then. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get rid of the green segment and let's change this to, I want a grouping of two. All right, now what that does is it's two reds and then the next one is off. Okay, so now we're gonna create another segment here. I'm gonna call this one green. And I'm gonna say this is gonna start at LED two. Remember, zero is actually the first one. So this is gonna start at the second one, I'm sorry, the third one in, believe it or not. And then I'm gonna say, I need my spacing. And you can see while you're doing this, it's kind of funky. It doesn't work. You have to, you have to tweak it. So I needed to start at two. The spacing needs to be two. And here you can see, now we have two reds followed by a green. Again, 
two overlapping segments and you just have to you just have to think about it and just tweak it until you get it the way you want it. Now let's look at this one. I called this one 212. Two reds, then a white, then two greens, then a white. So we're going to go back to here. We're going to delete that segment. It's going to start at zero. And then the grouping is two, but the spacing is going to be four. Okay, that leaves four blanks in between every red. And then I'm going to add the next segment. I'm going to call this the white ones. And I'm going to start this at LED two. Now, to get that white, I'm going to do this in solid. All right, the spacing here should be two. So that's great. I got the white. Now I'm going to create another segment for the green. And this is going to start, if that started at two, this is going to start at three. And here I'm going to say my spacing is four and my grouping is two but I need to make it a green. All right, there you go. Now you can see it's two red, then a white, then two green and a white. So that's one of the most complicated patterns that I've had to deal with. But if you can master a pattern like that, you can do pretty much anything you want. All right, overlapping segments and just be mindful of your grouping and your spacing on each one of your segments. And of course the start LED as well. All right, the next feature I'm going to show you is a little bit technical because it is using a, a, an API. So watch when I click on custom colors here. You can see it looks very simple, all three, just a three color pattern. But when you look at this API command, this is the magic code right here that you can use to set any bulb, any color you want. You could just make the peaks of your house turn on and everything else turn off. And you can do it with this. Uh, or you can set any colors that you want. So what you need to know is that every color is actually three subcolors. Let's put it that way. Three primary colors. So the first number here, the 255, which is the highest brightness, by the way, that's red. So remember RGB. So red is 255. Green is zero and blue is zero. So that means the first bulb is bright red. The second one is going to be bright green. And the third one is bright blue. Okay. And then all I did was I took this and you have to have the brackets around each one of them. I just took these with the commas and I copied it multiple times until the string was full. Now this pattern is only three colors, but you could do any colors you want and you can do as many as you want. You could do a five color pattern with this. So this is the absolute most control you can possibly get. You can make each individual bulb a different color, the exact color you want them to be. I think it's a little overkill, but you could do it. And I'm going to show you an example here. Let's just take the uh, third bulb there. I'm going to change it. That's the one that's blue. I'm going to change that to 255 red, then zero, then 255 blue. When I click save changes here, you'll see it just changed to like a purple color. So let me go back to my three colors. This one uses solid pattern try. Okay. Red, green, and gold. Now, let's say I want to make these the colors of my favorite NFL team. Let's just say I come in here to a site called teamcolorcodes.com and I search for Pittsburgh Steelers. Now the Pittsburgh logo, very well known. There's multiple colors in it, but let's just say you want to take these three colors and you want your house lights to match these three colors. Well, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see it gives you all the color codes here. Now remember the RGB that I was showing you before? Well, that's, those are the numbers that you need, but I'm going to show you a trick here. So let's look, I have color one selected. You can see color two, you see the heavy circle around it. So color one is selected. And when I click on this color palette, it gives me a hexadecimal number here that represents 25500. FF is 255 in hexadecimal. If I come over to the Pittsburgh Steelers and I see this hex color right here, that's the one you need to copy. Just highlight it, copy it, bring it over to WLED, put it in here, save that, and then let's do the next one, which would be this blue, 
hex color copy that put that in there and then the red color copy it and paste it in here all right those are the Pittsburgh Steeler colors and you could do as many as you want. I mean, we could turn this up a little bit and we can triple it if we want. Double it, triple it, whatever you want to make it look the way that you want your house to be. But those are your Steelers colors. And you could do it with any other team you want. All right, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you stuck around this long and I will see you in the next one.